Angelina Jolie gives me the creeps. Oh great, an end times Christian who comes on YouTube to do conspiracy theories has a creepy feeling about Angelina Jolie. So in this video he decides to ramble about Maleficent. He represents the story poorly, in generalisation, to suit an agenda, and then he asserts satanic connotations because of the ideas in the story. And even if the original Sleeping Beauty story had rape in it to wake her up, so what? It doesn't really matter. We change a lot of stories to make them suitable for family audiences or for children. And that's also a reason why when it comes down to Bible stories, we tend to leave out all the murders, or the genocides, or the people dying in the flood, and focus on the nice things. And here's a way for you to support those Gnostic Gospels that we find in Disney. Like a midget at a urinal, I was going to have to stay on my toes. And also gift items relating to Maleficent, produced by the Disney company. Uh, that doesn't really prove anything other than we live in a capitalist society. It's really just another clear-cut example of how Disney gets its filthy paws on your children. And not just on your children, and the way they dress, but the way they think. So Disney's evil, Angelina Jolie as well, and Maleficent is evil because of what it does. And it's about controlling people and manipulating children, and so it must be bad because it's taking people away from your kind of belief system. Or it's just a film based on previous stories, and Disney is mass-producing stuff relating to it. And next he talks about Vietnam and how America got involved in Vietnam. And he talks a bit about Henry Kissinger and Angelina Jolie. His position now among the elite working with the UN and connected to many of these Illuminati organizations. Isn't it interesting that she continues to adopt children from Vietnam and Cambodia? So mixing fact and fiction to try and make something sound more real. She does work for the UN, correct? She does adopt kids. That's true too, and so we're meant to just accept that middle bit. She's involved in Illuminati groups. Um, evidence, please. And this is her with her child. That's right, Maddox. She named him Maddox. Is this kind of a clever wink and a nod to that New World Order system? Oh my god! So it's a conspiracy because of a kid's name. Maddox Pitt. Jolie. So you make a few skittish connections, which really aren't connections, and you consider that to be evidential. Oh, a kid's name. Oh, where the kid's from. Henry Kissinger. Vietnam. Disney Corporation. Bullshit. Mm. What's that smell? You're even willing to accept stories from gossip magazines as evidential. Oh, that would be me. I've been swimming in raw sewage. Remember this one in a New York Times op-ed explaining her decision to have both of her breasts surgically removed, even though she doesn't have breast cancer. So a woman with a high potentiality for developing cancer, and this year, 2015, she decided to basically have her ovaries and fallopian tubes removed as well. It's worth pointing out that she lost her mother and her aunt to cancer. And it was, in fact, considered to be something which was hereditary anyway. The development of cancer in the breast would have happened sooner or later, with the increase of those odds that she would get it as time goes on. And the reason why she had her ovaries removed and her fallopian tubes was because she actually got screened and the doctors believed they had potential evidence which pointed towards the early beginnings of potential cancer. And she stated that one of the reasons why she wanted to have it done was not only to live longer herself, but to actually see her adopted children have their own children. As well as being very open about it because many women die prematurely because they're afraid to get surgery. It's an expensive act of self-harm. Self-harm is often associated with a history of trauma and abuse, including sexual abuse and incest, usually in secret. And victims of sexual abuse and incest usually self-harm to cope with difficult or painful feelings. So basically, this entire video is a selection of great leaps and assertions. If you can assert something, make it seem to be realistic to your audience. 
The assertions about some kind of New World Order agenda, or Angelina Jolie actually being part of the New World Order hierarchy, utterly ridiculous. There is no proof, and you don't confirm it here. You simply assert it by saying, it's weird, and I can make great leaps, but you prove nothing. And please go and check out the channel, P.W. Swivel. I've been swimming in raw sewage. I love it.